making something. Tape's rolling. We are depressed. Got to change the date. I, I I patched everything, and I'm now I'm just trying to load into the game. Oh, well, good. You might just make it. I'm right there on the lot when I pop in. Right on the set, boys and girls. We're getting ready to go live on the radio. 94%. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. This crap. When nobody knows what the hell is going on. <laughs> the time sink is real. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing nothing but standing on the line. You know, I should be doing something. I stand around for hours at a time. Oh, God, I can't tell you how many hours a day I'm just standing on the line. I'm doing nothing but standing on the line. Yeah. You're all using some kind of jargon that me no understand. Uh, have to gently blow a ball into a warm, fuzzy hole. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to lunch, Chuck and Lass. Here viewing and listening pleasure. Think it's real. I don't know how easy it is to just concern between that. Welcome to lunch, Chuck and Lass. Where the hell are they coming up with this crap? Well, no. It's all Laz's fault. That's right. It's all my fault. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. <clears throat> and this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. And why is Zoom not giving me both pictures? I don't know. My Zoom's working just fine. How are you? Eagle! <clears throat> How are you, my friend? Good to see you out there. Hmm. And of Why course, good to see everybody else joining us here. We, I see Draken already. I see Condus. I see Lancel, Lancermain. Aloha. I see Bubbles. You, you see people? I see Waldo. I see Waldo. Bits. 199 bits. Starting with the 100, 100 bits, 200 bits. 200. Lancel, 199. no, Lancel with 200 and, bits. And 200, 200 from Lancel. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, folks, for getting us started out just right. Yeah, 101 bits cool to uh, some marbles. On here. 200 more, right? Eh? Yeah. Hey, Spiffy made it. Yes, he did. I don't Just... know why that's flashing like that. That's really weird. Why? What's what? What's flashing? Now my uh, face mask thing. I don't know if the audience uh, actually saw it or just something that happens on my side when uh, the old dude was up there. I guess I'll have to go back and look later and see see what it was doing. But uh, meanwhile. Bacon! We have bacon. More bacon. <clears throat> That's the right yep. pouch. I don't think this the right pouch. I think it's over here. Yep. What do you want? Black collar bacon or brand smoked bacon? Which which bacon are we gonna give away? <laughs> Um, all the bacon, 
all the bacon. Black collar Aww. bacon. Thanks to Eve Midnight. Your chance Yay. to win black collar bacon. So type in exclamation I love free shit to get in on the action because it's bacon. That's right, Trick Steve. Tell him because it's bacon. What the hell's wrong? Oh, is that one of the bugs that's going on? Okay. This bugged bug. What bugs? Never. I mean, then you'll like mention exploits and things like that, and then it's like Bug. working as intended. Yeah, see, so that's not, not lighting up. Undiscovered <clears throat> features. There you yeah. go, Spiffy. Just they're just undiscovered feature set. That's right. <laughs> now, Ekondis uh, sent some information yesterday, but I gotta have I gotta ask because he mentioned something else while he was in Discord chat. And just a reminder, Discord, if you want to join us, click that link, come on in, say hello, we don't bite unless asked. And uh, I, I, I loved one of those lines that Ekondis actually included. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really do wish that he had included the actual text from the time Chris started, and he can probably uh, still do yeah. that for us. But uh, he uh, he chimed in and said, "Up, oh, Chris has got some announcements uh, yeah. and bugs, bug exploits, bugs, yeah. exploits, yeah, exploits, exploits, exploits." Waldo. So so do you have that up Thank on you. screen? Uh, you know, I guess I can bring this up. Yeah, I just had to drag it up so that way we could bring up, um, what, what Ecom just took out from. Chris talking to Universe Chat yesterday. Because if you GM weren't in Bilbo. game, you wouldn't know any of this. You know, one of my yeah. problems with how we get information in this game. If you weren't in game, you didn't have a friend in game, or you didn't have some folks like NBN and News to rely on to bring you this information, you would never know this stuff. Never mm. know this stuff. Eagle 300 bits. And you know what that means? Yeah. It means we're going to just have to uh, wait on this and we'll tell them about that after a game of marbles. Another 300 bits. Track yes. number, so yeah. it is marbles time on stream, and I think we know which track we're going right after, don't we? Tr track number 21. The House of Pain. It, it might take me a second to get there because <laughs> I have to finish this map. Don't you all hate the cliffhangers like that? I Thank know. You, Eagle. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle. So, you can all blame Eagle for that. We love you, Eagle. Thank you. Well, so the, the fun thing about like exploits is if you're extremely vague about what the exploits <laughs> is, you don't know whether or not something's an exploit or not. Well, we'll talk about all this again because we're not yeah. we don't we don't know exactly what was going on. It was a crafting and, bug that much we know about. <clears throat> and and there are things that are working as intended that he never in, intended, but it's working as intended. Yeah. Um <clears throat> uh, uh, ready, ready to get, click that button yet? Nope, nope, nope. In, in a few seconds, we will be. Oh, so everybody's going to have to retype play on your side, is what you're saying? Hell yeah. I mean, if they're <laughs> watching my stream, they would have seen that. It's like I was in the middle of a race. <laughs> I'd hate to end that race prematurely. Um, mm. But track Premature, number 20 Premature is race now injection. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exclamation mark play on both streams and click start in three, two, one, start. Yes. Got a minute uh, to join. 69 I, seconds. I got to agree with Justin. Not everybody is watching. Some people are just listening because they're working. Hey, yeah, hey. They're actually on their lunch hours. Hi, Hi. Justin. I was in the middle of <clears> a, a 
a video conference call on uh, Friday, and I, I was still on the show. <laughs> yeah, now we got to talk about that shit. I'm telling you <laughs> what, pal. I, t- I tell you what. is I don't know what was funnier was... You showing up and being muted the whole time, but hearing what we're saying and commenting, (laughs) gesturing, and whatever else you were doing while you couldn't talk and allowing us to pick on you, or the frustrated look on your face getting twisted by the shit that these people were either saying in that meeting or throwing at you. I don't know what was funny on Friday. They weren't talking to me at all. Um, Um... so it, it that that was my response to things that happen <laughs> inside of a meeting. Um, All right, uh, here we go. Yeah. Drop down the pegboard. Race number one on Manic Monday. But I, I really did finish that meeting like 35, 40 minutes into the stream. And, and then he I didn't just did, join did, us, did, folks. He doesn't then I just love did some you guys more. anymore. He doesn't well, love you Well, that's because guys. They, they don't tip enough bits on my stream. <laughs> if you tipped more bits on my side, then we, we wouldn't have issues. Track and Dorodo yeah. and Lancel both battling it out into the mixers, into the funnel. Looks like Lancel's got a lead going mm. in, but we're not going to let side, that stop Draken us. Just... has a lead by himself right now. Everybody else, oh, oh, wait, now he got delayed. So Venetrix and Mom have caught up. We'll see what ends up happening. But Draken took off again and in the lead by himself. Let's see. Uh, oh, Mom caught up. Mom slid Lance by. Lancel dropped out of the... Yeah, Mom slid by on my side too, entering the double mixing bowls. And then she bowls. got knocked back. Lancel's in the second mixer. Yeah, Draken made it to the second mixer. Uh, Benetrix catching up. Mix, Is he so. going to get put through? Doesn't look Uh-oh. like it. Looks like Lancel's going to get there. Hold on. No, no, no. Uh-oh. Benetrix looks like, looks like slides by. What's going to happen with Draken? Is he going to get ejectors it? for the win? Yes. Benetrix. I love marbles because you just in, never in, know. In Draken, one on my side. Uh. Um, congratulations, Venetrix, for the win. <clears throat> um, but yes, <clears throat> Draken won on my side, and I'm actually getting a work message right now. <clears throat> or two. <laughs> Why aren't you at work? I am at work. He is at work. He works uh, two I job, do. man. Three jobs. <laughs> Uh, or something like that. Dun, All dun, right, dun. let's get these scrolls out to Venetrix. Ah, Draken, sending some scrolls. And then, uh oh, uh oh, I need to go to a chest. Oh no, not a chest. I just run I, to the I vendor. Need... Uh, uh, chest is right here and I can jump right back over. Gotta give out a shout out to uh, Warrior B. Patrick out there. Thank you for the uh, lovely welcome letter. I appreciate it. I I officially placed my first lot in the new lands yesterday and uh, settled in the belly of the snake Warrior B. Patrick's town. And uh, he is one of the only people who's got lots opened up, folks. So the, all these other people have lots laid out, and they're all restricted, which makes it really hard okay. to get people to move in. Either that or they're being picky SOBs, and uh, you know what? I don't like picky landlords. I like laid-back landlords. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and and imagine that I spelled Draken's name without looking at anything again. Wow, I know it's like, it, and then I I almost forgot to to drag the scrolls into the message, but but I got it. I, oh, I managed to do thank it. you, Econ. This, Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
problems with yes. the hand coordination again? Hey, no, uh, uh, Condis actually clipped and sent us a uh, universe text so that we can actually. Yes, he did. So that way we can read that stuff. Um, Ooh, uh, I missed that. Uh, and uh, and there's nothing more fun than listening to you type. Hey man, you gotta gotta love it. Gotta love it. Got got work to do, man. Got an entire uh, game built around him typing. That damn Skippy. And so, it sounds like it's on an old-fashioned Electra. Fuck yeah. So how you want to do this? Do you want to go with the copy in Discord, or do we want to... Well, the copy in the Discord, and then after that, we'll, we'll go to the tweet and then see what actually gets said. Um, so... <clears throat> Uh, this is Athos on Bilbo. He's looking into the crafting XP issue. If it's an actual ex issue, we'll fix and, and the damage. Not important, just know it's being dealt with. I'll get at least 72 hours notice before it returns so players can plan for it. This time so, when I turn it on. Yeah, see, th th this loses it, it's like, without context. What? So yeah, uh, in between that, Somebody asked, what is the supposed issue? And that's where he replies, it's not important. Just know it's being dealt with. But again, um, it is important but... because it might actually be intended. Like uh, when Chris decided to cut down the time between teleports and recalls and made it five seconds, well, he created a new bug because he forgot and yeah, you know, I I knew it, but I didn't argue with it. That the reason why it was thirty seconds was so you couldn't escape from PvP like that. And the minute he changed it, ooh, now people can escape, and that's a new bug being reported because. And Chris is probably sitting there going, "Now what do I do?" Because he makes the yeah, changes. That's not a bug. That's a feature. Right, but see, you make the changes without thinking about what the intended or unintended consequences are, just like that, and boom. I'm sorry, we've got we all of three PvP players? Uh, well, no, we have yeah. more than that, but anyway, and again, you know, I knew it's, that it's that's three. why the that's length the, was that way, but, you know, the I wasn't The RNG says there's only that. three PvPers. Huh? Um, well, so there there are a couple of different things that it could be. One, supposedly, if you go into a uh, um, a siege and you kill the crystal, it gives you like four hundred thousand crafting experience. Ooh, yeah. Is, is that is that working as intended? Yeah. I he, mean, he only doubled the XP. Otherwise, it would have been two hundred thousand. Now, Ikandis, I saw what he had to say on that issue, and he said, you know, now that he's aware of what it is, he, he's going to look at putting in a timer, which is, you know, of course, I already know that the five seconds on, uni on, his, on the getaway is the lowest timer, so there's going to be a question that says, is player in PvP, yes or no, and, you know, and that will then trigger the longer timer if they're in PvP. Yeah. Um, um, Draken, he did supposedly do something today. We'll get to that eventually. Yes, we we will talk and discuss um, about that. Yeah. But yeah anyway, puts the uh, patch notes but up. as far as the crafting exploit goes, uh, please don't craft anything for a bit. I'll be. Probably be banning a few people and rolling a few others back over the extensive use of a bug. You should stop. Making gear is the big thing. Nope, nothing to do with 100% return change, though. That might have aggravated it. Um, then someone it asks a question, and he does say that he'll probably have to be rolled back. Just don't. Well, uh, you missed the 72 hours part, didn't you? You skipped right no, over No, I that. read that. I didn't hear it. Anyway, well, I don't that's, understand. That's because the, you were talking I'll about get at least seventy-two hours notice. I don't understand that. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, note, this was on QA for a full week. I'll only hit players who benefit significant amounts from this. Most got a little, so just sounds like a few QA recognized it. For a full go, well, week. But we this, patched this, it in the live. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, this is where it, it becomes really interesting. I'll only hit players who benefited significant amounts from this. Most got a little. Sounds like a few recognized it, didn't report it, and then worked it crazy hard. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Uh, working as intended. That's all I got to say because we know that certain items give much more XP than others. Um, um yeah, I, I, I little catapults. I browsed this yeah. a little bit, and he, yeah, yeah. And aside from knowing it was a crafting bug and apparently something to do with armor, I'm I'm assuming from what I can get at it is, yeah, uh, I. Mean, don't know exactly. Again, that's uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, um, um, Mike, after TC. Uh, um, yeah, no, because uh, there's a lot of that, and there's a post, there's a chat going on. Uh, Tazar makes comments that you know, again, he was doing double XP regular crafting. Other people were doing two times XP, but this probably had something else. Somebody probably found something that was out of whack. And took advantage of it, uh, most likely. Uh, could could have just been making a single component that was spitting out too much. We don't know. Um, but what we do know is that this is now happening just a wee bit too often, at least for my taste. Uh, twice in two weeks, as many weeks. Uh, three times in as many weeks. Um, four times in as many weeks. Uh, how many weeks has this been? <clears throat> um... I'm just surprised it, hey. you didn't catch it on the test server. Well, well, okay, the comment. It was live on the test server for a week, so... Well, th th that's one where it's like, we have to be told what to test, what changes are actually right, on the test server. My, my, in order my to point test is, them. if this was live on the test server, did somebody discover it on the test server <clears throat> and run it? on the test server or did they wait for that patch and then run it so if it was live yeah. on the test server for a week and he he was able to see this why did we patch it to live in the first place that's the first question if it was live and it, somebody found it and waited we need to know that too because then we need to get to the other questions as to why these people ain't getting their pps whacked for doing this shit. okay uh, very simple. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm going to say this much. Uh, when I was a GM running a shard, and somebody got caught macroing, doing something they did wrong, I didn't just go ahead. And this was all, This was my rule. Fuck. Fuck you. If you're cheating, I don't care. My rule was. Not only did you lose the gained experience, I reset that whole fucking skill tree back to zero, and you start the fuck over. Sorry. So if you were training, oh, yeah. I mean, hiding, <clears throat> and you just made you know, GM because of the exploit, but you started at 90, well, fuck you. You're going back to zero, and you start at zero. That's the kind of punishments that should be put out because, A, it's not too hard to get back there, especially with today's experience gains. But, B, just to let you know that he's not fucking around with it because this setting it back to where they were no yeah you know, pe pe people don't no this doesn't do it cut them off at the balls make them work for it and lose all those hours they put in maybe they understand and again i'm all for the initial 24 hour Whoa. ban i don't care what it was yeah. if you were caught cheating and you knew it 24 hour ban automatically you're not out of the game the, just first first one the, 24 the hard hours. part is was it really an exploit or was it working as intended? Well, that's something we'll it, never know. That, that is that is something where if you go back to a uh, a year ago when Chris mentions putting in the shared XP pool, and he's like, "Yeah," and I know people are going to sit there and like create characters and delete them, and it's like I'm fine with that. Then double XP comes in, and people are doing that, and adding tremendous amounts of XP to their pool, then it's an exploit. 
a year ago, he was fine with that behavior. Today, it's an exploit. Um, and again, yeah. we got to stop and every this, every yeah. exploit. Hey, I think this is a good says, idea. Let's do it without thinking about the consequences. Yeah. Uh, now, every exploit is broken shit that was working as intended until it wasn't. <clears throat> yes. Now, that that's one where it's like, you you, you know what. I, I want to get to the Twitterverse real quick because yeah. th this is just a simple, simple visualization of <clears throat> why I say he needs to do what he says he's going to do and stick to his guns. And this is so simple, it's silly, people. It's so simple, it's silly. Exclamation, I love free shit. Win some bacon. We'll be giving that away momentarily. Well, let's bring up the Twitterverse here. Which which we one got are we patch going to? notes to get to also. Uh, we're gonna go back to uh, April 11th for starters. Okay. In case you missed the stream, I finally did get a build that works on OS X. I'll be publishing that patch later today. This is just the first round of error fixing, but should make a dent in the stability problems. Now that I worked out the OS X problem, we will fix some some more daily. Mm hmm. Let me ask you a question before we read the next one. When will we turning off the sale? Um, no clue. Sure you do. When, when will we turning off the sale? When he gets an OSX patch. Thank you. Oh, ne yeah, yeah, ne yeah. Next, yeah, next yeah. tweet. The new patch finally out, but unintentionally turned off the deed sale a bit early. After talking to the team, they wanted to leave the <clears> sale on <throat> until tomorrow morning since it is a holiday. Working on a tiny patch for that now. Happy Easter. Okay, no, not unintended. You said yeah. when you got the patch out, you were turning off the sale. Okay, very simple. Yeah. You yeah. turned it off when yeah. you got the patch out, like promised. Beautiful. Thank, thank okay. you for the reminder on yeah. that one. Thank yes. you. Beautiful. And okay. then... So, wh hours, why did yeah. we go back on that and have to go do another little quick patch just to fix that, just to just to patch it again and fix it again today. Do we really need to do that? Come on now, really? <laughs> okay, but you understand where I'm going with this. Yeah, that was that was exactly what he said he was going to do. He was going to turn it off when we had the patch for that, and he published it. I don't understand why, and it's little things like going back on what you said you were going to do that make people like me go, dude, what are you doing? Really? Come on now. Well, the team wanted it to be on longer. Well, you know yeah. what? The team are the underlings. You know, the team don't have voting rights. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know how he works it. But, you know, the team, you know, does what the, the boss tells them to do. And I, under, I understand it was Easter. I understand. But, you know, when you say something, stick by it. Because that brings credibility to the things you do. You know, now, people are out there still... Chomping at the bit for this new give, give us back uh, 10 times XP. Well, yeah, you know, give us back 10 times XP. We, we're going to jump back to last week's topic where, you know, the, orig the original edition of this was, again, working as intended before he decided to switch that on and got hit by something that we put in a year and a half ago that everybody knew about, you know, it now was broke again, and now we've got issues, people complaining about my XP's going here, my XP's going there, I'm not seeing my XP. Um, you know. Yeah, thank you, CC. You know, when, when you when you say something, stick to your guns. If you were wrong, say you were wrong. If you, you needed to do something, yeah. Um, now, you're going to take the time to go back and hit all these characters, which is going to take time, a couple days, according to him, to go through, instead of just rolling it back. And trust me, if you roll back once and the whole community comes down on a bunch of assholes, those assholes tend not to like when the community comes down and berates them for being assholes. Basic rules of this place, D-bad, don't be a dick. So when you cause it, you know, a rollback could fix his problems in a heartbeat, and he ain't got to spend days fixing and going after these exploiters. Um, I've got a big problem with that because, again, 
Um, it does take his time. It takes somebody's time, and that takes time away from the whole of the game. It takes time away from everybody, and that's not right when a couple people are causing these problems. <clears throat> I think these people need to be dealt with harsher. I think that, you know, again, you need to just run the ship, man. Run the ship. <clears throat> Hit yeah. the people in the balls. Let them know it hurts and let them know who the boss is and not to do this on your fucking servers. I'm sorry. I was a scumbag when it came to people doing that. And you know what? When you do shit like that on my, on my play space, I don't allow it. And I think Chris should get a hell of a lot tougher. Pockets, no pockets, donations, accounts, I don't care. If he finds me cheating... I expect to get whacked. I expect to get punishment. I expect to get a 24-hour ban. That's just what I expect. Well, a lot of games... Not, not only that. A lot um, of games I play, they don't even give you that. The AI finds you cheating. They ban your account. Your money's gone, and you can complain all you want. You don't even have a right to talk to a developer, okay? Let's no, start with last, that. At, at the same time, it's like... The, this is one where it's like he would also have to like actually go through and uh 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 actually say this is an exploit if you're caught doing it you are going to get banned um uh, until well, it can get patched you know again coming into the game and saying stop crafting yeah, that, that doesn't work because that yeah. only applies to the people paying attention to universe chat it, while like, you're typing. Well, again, first off, there are plenty yeah. of times uh, I'm sure everybody like myself, and I'm going to bring my chat up here. Let's see. It, 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 if you look at my chat, I've got I'm local right. and NPC. I've got not all trade, to. nobles, universe, and Lua. Right now, I happen to be... I was on Lua, which gives me also yeah. universe. But when I'm on universe, that's what I see. If I'm on trade chat, and which is where I usually am, I don't ever see anything in any of the other chats. So he could have been talking, and I would have never known it. And I'm sure there were a lot of people who didn't know that, who continued to yeah. do what they're doing. So It's like... Um, you know, the big red message that comes across, yeah, that would be nice. Stop doing this now. And then every time somebody logs in, it sees it. When you send it, they see it. They can't miss that universal message. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, those in big red, yeah. I can't see it. Well, Justin, Sorry. yes, absolutely. Stop giving us broken shit that hasn't been tested and flung onto live and blaming <clears throat> the community. It was on yeah. QA for a week. Somebody but, knew about this on QA. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, but did someone know about it on QA? Well, Probably see, we don't. Not we, well, because oh, yeah, who really plays on the it. QA server? Almost Hello. every time that I join on the QA server, Apparently, I'm the only one there. Apparently, Chris knew this was on the QA because he told us so. Okay, so... Well, no, no, no. He's not saying that the bug was on QA. He's just... I mean, the, the bug was on QA, but doesn't mean anybody was how does actually... He, yeah, how does he know that bug was it? live on QA for a week? How does he know it wasn't three weeks? How does he know it hasn't been on QA for months? Yeah. He knows it's been there for a week, so he knows... And he knows something that he's well, not telling yeah, us. I, I mean, it's like, <laughs> re remember when I reported a uh, Virtus Pass and I, that was ignored? What, the, do, doing the, the, uh, the <clears throat> Ring of Fire yeah. from where you're not yeah. supposed to do? Yeah, it was ignored for like six months because we were all loving it and we screamed and fought back. But, it should be intended. <laughs> Then we learned uh, how to cast through a door, and that was uh, that was that. We never went back. So you know. So then they had a yeah. program, Smart AI, that could open a door. Um, you know, that's how that works. You know, whenever you program yeah. something, players are going to try and break it. That's what we do. Uh, we're going to try and use everything that's in the game to our advantage. And if it's not a known issue, it's not a bug, right? Am I right there? Uh, it's not a known issue. It's not a bug until it's a known issue. Once it's a known it's issue, worth, as far as, I mean, th this to me is like the problem with the game design as far as XP goes. Uh, you need some sort of XP like uh, skill cap 
So that way it's like, okay, someone gets to, they can only level up certain skills. You should also have uh, the fact that, you know what, you've got characters going from level zero to over a hundred in less than a week right now. It's like, what's the benefit? Where's the reward? Where is anything? And it's like, I as it is, you're probably sitting with half a billion XP in your pool now. No, I've been lazy level. all week. I haven't oh, gone okay. out all. I didn't go out at all last oh, week, okay. and I didn't do a Sunday stream because I was still at where I was at last Sunday. So yeah, and it was and and, and and no one tests anything on QA because we don't know what to test. Well, I, let, let me it, stop it, you right yeah. there. Let me stop you right there. First exclamation! I love free shit. Last chance. I'm going to pull the giveaway, and then. I'm going to ask everybody a question, and I want you to all just think about it once I'm done here. There you go, John. Get in there. Lancel, yeah, come on. Exclamation, I love free shit. I'll be closing the giveaway. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And paying people to report bugs on QA is the way to go. No, it's not. Give them some kodos. No, it's not. Absolutely, it is. Every bug, it, it's a bug hunter. hunter You're going to pay somebody, pay a staff member to play the freaking game and pay well, somebody to do that. Well, all, pay all a QA staff guy. Should be, all <clears throat> staff members should be required <clears throat> to play the game. Those they should give be away, required. Picking ourselves a winner. Venetrix, killing it out there today. Congratulations, Venetrix. And uh, we're going to make this easy today. Just going to give you all some gold. Ten thousand gold. End of the show. Exclamation. I love free shit. I got to ask everybody out there why, when we had a really, really, really great working relationship with launches and publishes and that, did we stop doing this fucking shit? Okay, every month, last Thursday of the month at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, we put out a release. And then we patch that weekend to fix any small bugs that might arise. Then we do not release any more patches till the next monthly release. When we've taken the whole month, we've done the lockdowns, we've got the gold star candidate a day or two beforehand. Why did we get away from that? Why did we stop that? Why did we dick with something that was working? As intended. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Ha have we not understood here yet that, uh, that yeah, you not we, generating enough drama <clears throat> for us to be we, happy. we thought that, and uh, Ekondis, that they were going to go to TikTok. Uh, there's been talk about going to quarterly, um, which again, I don't think I would mind too much. Um, you um, know, but. The only massive change was uh, some someone um, taking ownership. And, well, uh, let's we, get out to uh, yeah. some patch notes because we actually have some patch notes to tell us oh my God. a little bit about what's been going on. And I believe we have to go back to uh, 1164 to start. So, something like that. So 1164 came out April 12th at 5.30 a.m. And pool experience points is no longer shared between multiple characters on an account. Existing pooled experience will be shared until spent. New command slash XP will show various XP pool amounts. And dozens of error fixes that were causing exceptions as well as unknown side effects for performance and stability over time. And GPU occlusion windows only is now an option and is now an option that will default to off. This can be toggled on in the video menu menu and vault updates. Ooh, vault. 
followed Ooh. followed by patch build number 1166 where they turned back on the deed sale that was accidentally ended early who turns off a sale on easter we're not monsters leaving it on until monday morning and build number 1168 that we are currently on no notes wah, wah. Of yes, not. because uh, we we are on eleven sixty eight. And again, uh, you know, the the disparent, yeah, you know, the the difference between eleven fifty nine, eleven sixty four, or eleven forty eight, and eleven fifty nine, you know, leaves us all. Yeah, I know, Justin. I know. <laughs> we we all have no words because we're all confused. Well, we always have words. Yeah. Don't, well, don't, well, don't. that's our normal state, but. We are more confused than normal as but, to why you know, this why? is happening. That's a why. Let's get back to the way things used to be, okay? It all started going downhill when you all stopped drinking. Told you it once, years ago, gonna keep telling you. That's when it all started going downhill. Stop, stop drinking on, on live streams? Yeah. You stop making the big bucks because you stop giving us great stuff to cheer That's for right. and throw money at you for. And when you stop getting rid Booze. of all the shiny it stuff. It makes games yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that was fun. Yeah. Re you know, releases that we, we could rely on that we knew there weren't going to be major patches. You know, now we get major patches. Even though something was on QA for a week, um, who tested it? If we knew it was there and it was broken, you know, can we? Can you see who broke it on QA to go say, hey, I can see that? Um, if you saw this and you were able to see this, why wasn't it looked that harder before it went publish? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of questions that can be asked, but we need just to really sit down and stop making silly changes like this, causing delays, causing exploits, causing angst for the community as well as causing chris headaches having to chase down these people and then the community sits there scratching their head wondering did people get banned did they get in trouble oh well we don't know that so we're just going to continue well, to make these exploits we, we 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 don't know what the bug actually was yeah right and so, we, so it, yeah. it's like uh i could someone sh sh could tell me it's like dude a great way to make something is crafting this and so i go out and start making it and then boom i just exploited the game because of working as intended i didn't know about it um, <laughs> ozzy says yeah. you can't see anything because the lights are all hosed yes yeah, including that my battle banner back there which i just noticed will not light up properly uh yeah lights all hosed again uh Listen, I think uh, just just a personal opinion. I think that we should go back to the monthly testing, the month the monthly release. You can keep QA up. You can refresh it all you want. You got to give us stuff to tell us what you want tested. And again, I I I got to agree with you, Jack. Is you know, we don't know what it was exactly, but more likely than not, it was working as intended prior to yeah. it being. An exploit. I, I would have yeah, to probably it, it, agree with that statement. And, and, it, <clears throat> and it probably was catapults because remember, like the people talking about the 14,000 permutations of catapults and that you could acquire uh, eight or four billion crafting XP within short but that's time. That's always been like that. It, and now it's that would be eight million in your pool. It, that, it's that's it's been one that's like been like that since the intended. beginning of time. Yeah. For crying out loud! Yeah, if, if oh, that was it, I'm gonna laugh my yeah. ass off because that's been there for yeah. That's that's it, been everybody knows about catapults, don't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's uh. Yeah, you know, I just... You know, catapults are the only reason you ever make the other kind of bindings. The catapults yeah. are the, the... The experience is the only reason why you ever make the catapults, for crying out loud. Who needs that many catapults? How many of those catapults are you actually going to sell, for crying out loud? Really? Once you have one on a coffee table someplace on your lot, you really don't want to go out and buy 20 more to put them all over your house. You know what I'm saying? Buy them, you make them. But I know that, but if you made 300 of them for the experience, what are you doing with them? You're selling them, aren't you? 
Well, if I, if I bought yeah. one off you from my, and I didn't know about it, you know, I would buy one. I wouldn't go buy 20 of them. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, they, they fucked up. Uh, they added a, an extra zero on catapults. That's pretty damn funny. <laughs> Again, even if that was the case, catapults have been that way for yeah. ever since day one. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, so funny and that. I knew about it, but you know, I knew about catapults as a as a crafting thing. But you know, I got better things to do with my wood than make something that I can't resell. Sorry, you know, even for the experience. Because <clears throat> you uh, know what, somebody got stuck with a chest full, full of catapults at one point. I mean, somebody actually gave me them because they couldn't get rid of them, and it took me forever yeah. to get rid of them. You know, I actually I actually did eventually sell them all. <laughs> Sell them to the vendor. It just took a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, no, Spiff. You know, I, I, I'm still not one of those people. If, uh, even if there were a way, like with brewing, to make money, um, I have a vendor out in uh, no, Mountain Madeira. Sell Madeir. them to the vendor so they start showing up in bags. <laughs> yeah, but again, I've got a vendor out in Mountain Madeira who gets bank for the drinks I sell independently. I think I get 120 gold for a glass of wine, you know, compared to the one gold I'm going to get for selling it to the vendor. And you know what? I don't want that freaking junk in the loot table. You shouldn't want it in the loot table, and nobody should want it in the loot table. And I'm not going to do that to somebody because it might be me who winds up with it in the loot table. It's going to it's gonna be you. Yeah, you know, just my luck because right. uh, I'll yeah. dump a shitload of stuff. And truthfully, yeah, get it, get it right. all back. Dump your catapult so they show up in the loot table. <laughs> is I, I've never, ever sold anything to a vendor that I made to go into the loot table. I just I don't make anything that, you know. When I decided to become a merchant in this game, the one thing you got to ask yourself is what sells and what can you continually make to continually sell? It's like toilet paper. You need to make stuff everybody needs and they need it over and over and over and the answers were food, food scrolls consumables yes things that you need over and over and over once i have a catapult on my table i don't need more once i use a scroll i need to replace it so yes i've only really stuck to stuff that are consumables um makes makes sense to me and you know, that's how well i i put it but anyway exclamation well, that, i love it well, if you, if you wanted other consumables actually use usable like potions you would shorten the amount of time to actually consume one well in yeah you would also shorten the amount of time to sing a bard song too but uh <laughs> yeah i don't see that happen anytime soon <laughs> well, in, until the, the devs start actually pay, playing the game and rec realizing what is pain, that everything is working as intended in my mind. It, there, there are no exploits because it's working as intended because that's the way they designed it. Mom's most prized looted possession is a pair of Wooftum's underwear. Oh, I yeah. love that. I love that. That's too funny. I don't know. Maybe we should do that, Jack. We should some craft some undies and put them in the loot table yeah. for people to find. <laughs> Come on, food eating time ain't that bad. Unless you're in the middle of battle trying to eat, then you're fucked. But that's beside the point. You should have ate your food before you went in the battle. That's that's your fault. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep, it's all gonna be fun stuff. <laughs> Justin got a shirt made by Fruck when he was in time out for his name. <laughs> Heraldry panties. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> what would really be nice if all the other heraldry items aside from the chest piece could actually have heraldry like on the shoulder or on the pant leg or, you know, someplace. But, uh, you know, to me, all that other heraldry stuff is useless because it doesn't have your heraldry on it. So. Anyway. I think heraldry is useless in general. Uh, but yeah. 
Anyway, I was out in Mistrender yesterday running around. There are a lot of towns placed out there. A lot of stuff uh, starting to take shape out there. Uh, Jack's going to love it out there because there are all sorts of random encounters on the overland. And you can barely oh, move more, five feet more than without two? hitting one. Excellent. <clears throat> the way it should be. Well, it's not, not quite actually that. But uh, I noticed they are... They are Mostly within sight of each other, and you can actually see a bunch of them at any yeah. given time. So, uh, <clears throat> I that that's the way it should be. Um, yeah, you ever use invisibility on the overland map? It works real good. I have no as you blink in and out, yeah. <laughs> But the only I, time I, think, I have need is when I'm doing stuff like I was doing yesterday, which was exploring all the new towns. So I had to go in, go out, go in, go out. I gotta love. I gotta love. I believe it's Jackalope who's got it. Jackalope's got himself a new town there, and he's got three boats connected. He's got one to Airy. He's got one to Brittany. And he's got one to Port Graf. He comes right across the whole continent with his connections from his little town up in Miss Render. So, A yeah. plus to you. Uh, found some. Uh, <clears throat> no, Jackalope no, is not Jack Jack Salt. Is not me. Yes. No, it's yeah, not him. No. Jackalope is a member person. of the BMC and one of our buddies. <clears throat> but uh, he owns Goldfield. Yes, he does own Goldfield as well. I saw some other interesting ones that so I got to go down and check. Down. If I want, I got to see if they're actually getting return passage because I saw one guy. He actually had a uh, connection right back here to Owl's Head. Um, I nice. saw some other ones and uh, some some strange bugs. I want to. I got to go back out there today and test some of those. Uh, Test some of those overland encounters uh, because at one point I went into one and then the next thing I knew I was halfway across the world again someplace in BFE, I forget where, when I should have been right outside where I entered in Miss Render. So we still got a little of that going on and I just got to see if that's reproducible. No joy. <laughs> But uh, I meant to ask Ekondis, uh, he had mentioned something about the uh, NPC uh, conversationalist and a bug he had, he'd come across. And Ekondis, what was that? Because you referenced my vendor, but that was a long time ago. And I don't even have that uh, NPC placed anymore, so I don't know. <clears throat> Trying to click using E. Okay, very cool, very cool. I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. I don't know. Can we do that? Let's uh, stand up. Can we go click this guy using and, and e? easy? Yeah, it comes up when I click him using E. That works. What are you trying to click? Your uh, chatty, your automaton. Oh, yeah, he comes up. It works. <clears throat> Working as intended. Well, you know, you another interesting one real quick before we wrap up here. We're already running a little bit late, but uh, let me see. Was this in Discord for us to scroll back to? Uh, inventory click and drag. Let's bring this one up because this is something I did not know and I was not aware of and I always thought was a pain in the ass until I read this bug report. And I'm curious as to what you folks think about it. <clears throat> Can we get some consistency in dragging from stacked items in inventory and storage? The inconsistency was incredibly confusing as a new player and still remains a challenge to inventory management. Dragging that, a stack sometimes grabs mm -hmm. one item, but other times grabs the full stack. By default, it should always grab the full stack. Click and drag to front the item for one from the stack. Shift and drag to specify an amount. Uh, some current examples of drag amounts by type fruit drags one meat drags the full stack fish drags one carcass drags the full stack grains drags full stack <gasps> yeah that's really fucking inconsistent yeah but go down the alley oop and I did not notice yeah uh, it's not inconsistent at all it's a matter of deco mode working as intended 
<clears throat> turn deco mode off when you're not using it and you'll be able to get the whole stack. I, if you have deco on and you drag something that is placeable as deco, it assumes you want to deco with it and only grabs one. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stick with uh, the original post, which is Jackal, which is also Jack, I believe. Jack. Uh, yeah. Jackalope. And not me. <clears throat> uh, I think this is a different person. I uh, may, may not, but uh, again, um, you know, there's some people who are saying they're inconsistent, but I got to stick with the original report. The original report yeah. should be true. If I just go to my inventory, and let's get back here. We bring up the inventory. If I just go after it with the mouse cursor, not holding anything, and go for a stacked item, that whole stack should come just like that did. I am in deco mode. But sometimes hold, hold it don't. Do, do, do I have any fruit? <clears throat> I'm looking to see something. Everything seems to be coming in a whole stack today. I, I only have like one banana. Yeah. All right. Two, two, two cake slices, which I believe are deco. Four beers. Flat shovels. How many flat shovels? Lemons, I've got two. But if you turn deco mode off, then it, it, it grabbed one. Oh, if deco mode is off. Mode. See, I always got deco mode yeah. on. And I've run into that problem all the time. You also tend to run into it with vendors. If you grab yep. the whole stack on a vendor, it automatically well, opens. That, you know. It's mm -hmm. like uh answer that if it's decoable, then it grabs one by default because you're in deco mode. Right, so that's well, why again, if you're not in deco mode, then it grabs the whole stack. Again, I got to go with the uh, toggle key. Original person, yeah, original post. If you grab it with your mouse, you should grab the whole stack. If you do shift for one, uh, shift for the stack to choose your size or control to pull a single one. Yeah. Uh, you know. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to place a lamp, you know, and they're stacked, I usually choose to pull one lamp. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just me. I don't know about everybody else. But anyway, got to tell up, you all up? about the NBNN Shroud of the Avatar Community Calendar brought to you by our good friends at Rebatest, hosted on NBNN.info. Oh, yeah. What is that, Reba that testing today? Reba test is where you get free shit for giving your opinion on products they're selling. They go out to Reba test, you sign up for it, you buy something, you check it out, you leave your review, and you get your money back. And when you do your first review, Reba test will even toss in five extra bucks just for your first review. Ooh, smoking money. Hey, it's got yeah. it's got it's got an affiliate link, you know, so you can get some people to sign up like I try and do. You know, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. That adds up, brother. <clears throat> yep. Um, That's right. If you sign up, click in the link, and you get your five bucks, I get five bucks too. Yes, just to let you all know. Absolutely. So go out and try it today. Make us some money. Let's just say that community calendar is an aggregate of all the available Google public calendars related to Shroud that that guy knows about. If you have a Google Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, you need to email news at nbnn.info. Laz will do something with it eventually. And if mailing that is too difficult, you can always uh, message him in Discord or in-game um, with a link to said calendar. All times on the community calendar are central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Nude Britannia time. Send your nudes to nudes at nbnn.info so we can carefully curate those two minutes at a time. Yep. Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock. You need to tune in your ether amplifiers to wait at your radio for Britannia to listen to two mm. idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to. A little show called Lunch. With you us. should tune in your mechanical cats. That too. That is an ether amplifier. 
Uh, at 7 p.m. this evening on WRFB is going to be the 70s at 7, 9 o'clock in game. You can join Ander Tiana Zazer is out in Verit Chaos at the Pub of Extraordinary Thought for a weekly ro open role playing event because all great adventures begin in a pub somewhere. I was supposed to play D&D &D this weekend and that didn't happen. Made me sad. And the final event and for this Manic Monday is going to be on WRFB, mm. and that is the Wicked Womb with Waz's Wad, where he covers some walk and wall history from 1946 to 1974. Wax cylinders won't play. What? Hold on. It probably depends on what the wax cylinder is. Yeah, I gotta see. You got a wax cylinder right here. Is there anything in here? Uh, yeah, there is. Are you playing it? Not okay, yet. Okay, we're running it's late. Like, I'm trying. <clears throat> I don't hear anything. There. I I see it's on. Jukebox is currently in use. Yep. Broken. Let me try it. Trying to play the it's space station. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, that's what? right. We are running a little bit late here today, so we're just going to go ahead and scroll through these. Don't forget you're tuned in to Lunch with Laz and Jack. Check out the Britannian Mining Company, Radio Free Britannia, Shroud Music, Rebitest, Capius, as well as on ShroudMarketplace.com, and of course, ShroudMarketplace.com, the place to go for all your virtual vendable goods here inside Shroudity Avatar. Meanwhile, we got to go ahead and wrap it up for today. We got to go ahead and take a peek out there, see who we can raid. We're going to go ahead and close out today's giveaway here in a moment. Let's see. Who are we going to go to? Uh, Lord Bacon. Oh, it, it, he's streaming right now? He's got zero viewers. We oh, want to go yeah. with uh, Veron. I don't know who Varen is. So let's, <clears throat> haven't let's go with haven't done him yet. Let's go with him. Yeah. Yeah. Raid. We'll Varen. go with him. That started. I can't do um, that yet. Got to close the giveaway first and pick ourselves well, a winner. Laz, you do know that it preps the raid, and then um, it it then you have can click the raid now and do everything. Huh. If you do the raid inside I of I can't do slots. a raid in chatty while I still have a yeah. raffle open, okay? It's still not instantaneous. I understand that, but I don't... Yeah, I don't do it until... Yeah, because last time I tried to do it, it fucked up. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Sereni Amalorian, congratulations. You are the winner. We are raiding... So we will be back with more tomorrow right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we I'm are Batman. NBNN. <laughs> Have bye a great bye. day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow.